Artificial intelligence is changing the game for scammers. It used to, it's being used to create deep fakes and clone a person's voice. So how do you stay vigilant in a world where you can't even trust who's on the other end of the phone? This entire month, we are looking at new and emerging scams and what you can do to spot them. And for a closer look, we're joined this morning by Daniel Sai, professor of, at Queen's University Smith School of Business. Welcome to your morning. Hi, right, welcome. Uh, we have a clip, that, clip we want to play for yourself and for our viewers. And keep in mind that the person whose voice you're hearing didn't actually make this recording. This was made by AI. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? It looks real, and when you're dealing with it over the phone, it's going to sound real as well. How can a scammer get somebody's voice in the first place? Well, the technology is advanced that in the past needed a lot of data to produce a uh, clone voice. And what's happened now is you only need about 30 seconds to maybe a minute. And that's enough to uh, create a uh, voice clone that's pretty similar, if not uh, indistinguishable in some ways. And as well with uh, image as, uh, and, and video, uh, deep fakes have advanced to the point where you can take an image and effectively clone that and uh, it looks like the real thing. So Daniel, how does it work even if you only need 30 seconds of someone's voice? How are scammers getting it and then what are they doing to it? Well, uh, the technology is free. You can go online and get uh, free apps that allow you to do voice cloning. And uh, effectively, uh, scammers can get that from anywhere, on, from your social media accounts, from uh, YouTube videos, from your TikToks. So what this means is uh, we like to think that our digital identity is unique to us, but anything can be replicated in terms of voice, your image, uh, and uh, your unique, uh, uh, the ways that you speak and uh, act, that can be replicated now through uh, deep fake technology. And it can be done so quickly. Why are scammers uh, using your voice? What are they using it for? Well, effectively, they're, they're trying to go out there and fool people. It's, it's great for con jobs. In fact, uh, a, a major example of this was uh, from uh, a week ago. Uh, a finance employee in Hong Kong transferred $25 million U.S. because he thought his boss had authorized it. What happened was they had a, uh, he had received an email that he thought was suspicious. He's like, this doesn't make any sense. I don't know why my boss would send me this email. Uh, they set up a, a video conference with this uh, finance employee and uh, every single individual in that conference call, it was his boss and his coworkers were all deep faked. No way. Voices and the video sounded like uh, people he worked with convinced them. He said, all right, email seems suspicious, but this video conference showed, I feel it's, it's them. Okay, I'm gonna do it. He transferred the 25 million and lo and behold, turned out it was a complete scam. What can people do to protect themselves then, Daniel? Well, this is one of the things where we've seen this out of the pandemic. Scams have increased dramatically. That's because people are working at home. So the ability to go into the office and uh, knock on your neighbor's door and say, did you send me this email or is this, is this, you, know, is this you? It's not going to be that easy these days. So what you have to do is you have to make a phone call. You have to go in, uh, make sure you see that person and uh, just verify, especially if it involves money, uh, to make sure that it's not a scam. The other thing, too, is you may want other individuals who are physically there in the office to cross-check for you. So you call up a friend who's, who does come to work, goes in, sees the boss, and make sure that uh, you get verification so that uh, the identity is truly uh, the person you're dealing with. Uh, with AI scams, you say everybody is at risk. There's no distinct vulnerable population. Why is that? Well, we have a lot of noble examples, uh, especially here in Canada. We've had uh, grandmothers who've been deceived uh, where they have their grandson speaking in their language, in one case, mm. Italian, uh, and uh, saying, you know, Nona, I'm, I'm in jail, uh, I, need, I need money, a guy's going to show up to your house and he's going to bring, uh, you know, he, he needs cash and he's going to get me out of jail. So that, that scam worked. And so the thing is, anyone can be deceived by this technology, including sophisticated parties, who, including that, that banking employee uh, in Hong Kong, or uh, your grandmother, or even uh, anybody, really. And so uh, this is how convincing deepfake technology has become. It is really frightening to learn about, but I'm glad you're here to teach it to us. Daniel, thank you. Thank you.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.